Welcome to Bethpage State Park in Farmingdale, New York, home to one of America's most testing layouts, the famed Bethpage Black. One of five courses in the park, it was built as part of the Depression-era public works projects in the early 1930s. Set to host the 2019 PGA Championship and 2024 Ryder Cup, we spoke to golf architect Reese Jones, who oversaw the renovations of the course. Bethpage Black was designed by A.W. Tillinghast. This was his championship golf course. I mean, the one that he probably thought would be the most difficult to shoot par on. And uh, he sort of copied it from Pine Valley in South Jersey, with, which has a lot of sand. And so he had the biggest bunkers he ever built uh, in, on any of his designs. And so we really reestablished those bunkers. We made them look like they had been in the past. And then we really made the greens a little bit smaller. We shrunk the size of some greens. We added a lot of length and basically turned this golf course into a US Open venue, which will ultimately play the 2019 PGA Championship as well as the 2024 Ryder Cup matches. The major restoration of the course was undertaken in 2002, which included improving the fairways, bunkers and greens. Subsequently, Reese Jones made additional design improvements to the black course in preparation for the 2009 US Open. Go to any Tillinghast design golf course, you will see bunkering, you know, which is massive, number one, which is kind of deepish, number two. When Reese Jones came in and he redid the golf course, he kind of left the, the original bunkering alone. He added some fingering into the bunkers to aesthetically make it look a little bit better. I can tell you this, if you hit it in a fairway bunker, there's no such thing as hitting a four iron or a hybrid out of the bunker to hit it out of the green, because the elevation in front of you is not gonna allow you to do that. The bunkering really protects the greens. A lot of the greens are relatively elevated, so you have to fly the ball over the bunkers into the green surfaces. There's only one hole that really has water, and that's the eighth hole. So it's, it's really a sand belt, sandy site that, where the ball will run a long way. But at the same time, uh, you have to fly the ball into the greens. And the green contours are subtle, which really kind of drives the pros a little crazy because they can't read them well as they can a more pronounced green. So this golf course has held up very, very well for the two US Opens that have been played here in 2002 and 2009. In fact, I think Tiger Woods in 2002 was the only golfer to break par. When I first got there and I saw how the first hole was and I looked at that sign, I was like, ooh, okay. Well, I mean, is this just kind of one of those signs that is you know, supposed to be intimidating or is it actually a tough golf course? And, you know, getting out there and playing it, it, it will bring out every little weakness you have in your golf game. It's it's a uh, it's a tough track. It's it's decently long. It's got some gnarly rough in spots. So you definitely want to keep the ball in play in the runway. It's long. It's very difficult. Um, and I would say that it gives you uh, some awkward angles. That's the best way I could say. So if, if you go out to a lot of the holes. Rarely is the fairway straight out in front of you. It's always twisting to an angle or you're hitting a... I feel like I'm hitting across the fairway a lot rather than down the fairway. It's, it's amazing tee to green, that golf course just, just is... It's, it's so right in front of you, but yet you just have to execute the golf shots. You know, it's a perfect US Open venue. Tee to green, there's not much harder than uh, Beth Page Black. That's one of the first golf courses I've played where that one part of your game you know, is it more important than the other. At Beth Page, every part of your golf game is very important. You have to do every single one of them at a high level to be able to compete and win there. The black course in particular is, a, I'm amazed at how many people have this on their bucket list of must play golf courses. If you want to play a terrific golf course that has hosted you know, several championships, uh, Beth Page Black is the place to come. But don't be afraid to play the red course or the blue course as well. They're terrific venues to play golf. Not quite as difficult, but you'll have a great time there. A real tribute to a golf course designer when he is involved with championship golf, as I have been most of my career, is not that you get one championship, but you get several. And I think the fact that after 2002, the US Open came back here in 2009, 
and then the PGA fell in love with it. And I think it establishes Beth Page Black as one of the most famous and most enduring and best championship golf courses in the land.